I thought I'd do another chemistry lesson today and it is on alpha and beta hydroxy acids. So alpha and beta hydroxy acids are both obviously hydroxy acids, but what does the alpha and the beta mean? So firstly, let's talk about hydroxy and acids. So hydroxy means something with an OH group. In chemistry, OH and HO are actually the same thing. All it means is a hydrogen, a H, bonded to an oxygen, and O. And the way that you write it is just so that the oxygen is bonded to two things and the hydrogen is on the end. If your oxygen's on the left-hand side, then you want to put the hydrogen on the left of that so that the hydrogen's on the end. If it's on the right-hand side, then you put the hydrogen on the right. So hydroxy is OH. An acid in chemistry? is a COOH group. So what that looks like is if you have a carbon. So the carbon, remember from last time's chemistry lesson, um, in a skeletal structure, it disappears. It turns into a corner. So an acid looks like this, or in a skeletal structure, it's going to look like just a corner. Most of the time you'll see skeletal structures because I think most people just think that they're prettier. So if we look at glycolic acid, for example, we've got our hydroxy on the left-hand side and the acid on the right-hand side, so it's this thing here. Now be careful because there is actually sort of a hydroxy in the acid. It's attached here, but because it's part of the acid, it no longer counts as a hydroxy by itself. So if you think you spot a hydroxy, check that it isn't buried inside an acid. So with glycolic acid, we have um, our hydroxy and our acid next to each other. But what the alpha and the beta mean is how close they are next to each other. So again, remember from last time, each of these corners is a carbon. So the carbon in the acid has a second carbon next to it, and that carbon is next to the hydroxy. So that's what it means by alpha, we have the carbon, and then along the next carbon, we call that next carbon the alpha carbon. So we start with acid carbon, the one next to it is the alpha carbon, if there was another carbon next to it, that would be the beta carbon. And so because the OH hydroxy is directly connected to the alpha carbon, it's called an alpha hydroxy acid. Lactic acid is another alpha hydroxy acid. We see the hydroxy on the left, and we have the acid here on the right. And so again, from this acid carbon, we can start counting carbons. So the next carbon along is called the alpha carbon. Remember, the end of the line is also a carbon, so this would be a beta carbon. So because the hydroxy is connected to the alpha carbon, that's an alpha hydroxy acid. If we move the hydroxy down here, then that would be a beta hydroxy acid. Now salicylic acid is known as a beta hydroxy acid, and we can also see why if we count the carbons. Here we have our hydroxy group, and over here we have the acid. The acid carbon is here. This next corner would be the alpha carbon, and this one is the beta carbon. I guess you could also count it the other way, so this would be alpha, beta, gamma, delta, epsilon, and whatever comes after epsilon, but we don't count it that way because we just go with the closest one. Um, that's because the closer these two groups are, um, the more they interact with each other and they have special properties, which is why alpha hydroxy acids all act similarly on your skin. So salicylic acid is called a beta hydroxy acid for this reason. In reality, when you have this benzene ring, this hexagon down here, it changes the properties dramatically. And so this doesn't really act as a beta hydroxy acid. But in skincare, we still call it a beta hydroxy acid. Citric acid is a special case of something that is both an alpha and a beta hydroxy acid. So if you look at citric acid, it's actually a tricarboxylic acid. In other words, there are three acid groups rather than just one. So the official name of citric acid is actually 2-hydroxypropane-1,2,3-tricarboxylic acid. Um, so this is the hydroxy group over here. So if we take any of these acids and we start counting the alphas and the betas, if we take the end one, 
this would be the carbon in the acid, and so this would be the alpha carbon next to it, then this would be the beta carbon. And so this is this hydroxy group is beta to this acid, which means it's a beta hydroxy acid through there. That's the same situation for this acid down here, which is also beta to that because it's symmetrical about this plane. So here, this would be the um, acid carbon, this would be alpha, and this would also be beta. But if we look at the acid in the middle, if we count that, this is the acid carbon. This is actually the carbon directly next to it. So this is going to be the alpha carbon. And so it's an alpha hydroxy acid for this particular acid. Um, when you're talking about where this particular acid is next to this hydroxy group. So citric acid is both an alpha and a beta hydroxy acid for that reason.